I was born and raised in the suburbs of Illinois. Um, I've been here basically my whole life. I have two older brothers, um, so I'm the youngest of, uh, of three. Now I work as a technical recruiter. Um, I used to, I went to school for social work. Uh, my dad was pretty sick when I was growing up and probably for several years of my life I just remembered having to take care of him and helping him through his illness. So with that experience in my life, I wanted to go into social work and be a change agent in the world and help out other people based on my experience with my father. Inside of my work life, I am pretty simple. I like shopping and eating. Like, that's my ideal day. I just want to eat and shop. <laughs> um, I love clothing. It, you know, having acne, I think clothing has been like something that makes me feel good, right? Putting an outfit together and just the way it feels with the heels and jewelry, like that's been my outlet. So I love clothing. I love shopping. I love, I shop for my mom. I shop, you know, like I just, I love it. I love, I give clothes to people. I don't know. I just, I think the power of a good outfit is very <laughs> underestimated. I have a very strong passion for food. I think it's such an amazing experience what food can do for bringing people together and eating with people and trying new restaurants and just seeing the art of food. I just have a very strong, I love, I love food. I love feeding people. Absolutely. I mean, I felt so alone in that journey. I would watch commercials and my stomach would get all tight because you know, you'd see these models with clear skin or I'd, I, I had I had to delete my Instagram account at one point because you know, it's like social media is just social media. It's everywhere, it's the plague, you know? So just having that constant reel of perfectness and I'm sitting at home in, a, in the dark with fucking toothpaste on my face and whatever like and I'm like what the hell like it, I felt horribly alone what I love about social media as well is because you know how there's been such a positivity movement just for you know body in general you know whether that's representing all figures and all body types and now this kind of acting positivity movement that I've been noticing has been breathtaking. I it's been a uh, such a light for me to see and to see these women and men show their realness is like I'm like thank you God we're normalizing skin and body and just as women especially I think is so important so important because there's just so much pressure. Um, 2013, my father passed away and I had gone away to school my last year and I had a blanket of, there was not a space on my face that was not clear. And I just remember that I lived with girls. You know, with my sorority sister, so I remember waking up early and like putting on makeup and avoiding social events and, you know, crying myself to sleep. I mean, it was just horrible. And I just kind of related back to the stress of losing a parent. And it was just, it was just all on my face. I feel like all my emotions that I bottled up inside came out on my face because I always kind of masked what was going on at home, right? And I would just put on this facade that everything was fine. But I was dealing with so much turmoil in my home. Um, and I just stuffed and stuffed and stuff, and I feel like it came out on my face. Uh, with these deep, cyst, like red, like cherries, like all over my face, and there was no, it, it was, oh my God, horrible, and lasted for four years. Mind you, I've 
been to every naturopath, functional medicine doctor, tried every skincare, everything under the sun, spent, I can't even, just a disgusting amount of money to get my skin clear. And for four years, I saw very little, um, very little improvement. Um, and there was one point where my family had to sit me down. Sorry, I get really emotional when I talk about it because they were like, you need to do something. We, ha we need to change course because what you've done, you're not the same Meredith that you are. You're, you're not the same person. You're not the Meredith that we know and love. And because I just kind of avoided the, you know, um, what's it called? Western medicine, you know, the Accutane, the antibiotics, you know, just, I just wanted to, to have clear skin naturally, right? I wanted my body to be able to produce naturally clear skin, you know, without any birth control or whatever. And it was at that point where, you know, things started to shift because I was so determined to find that cure, whether it was with a supplement or with a skincare product or with a mask or anything. I, I just was so determined to find it and I just had to let it go. You know, like when you spend so much time trying to figure something out, I, I had to let it go. Um, because I would avoid social events. I completely fell off the earth with my circle of friends. Um, I would sit in the dark all weekend long. I almost lost my job because of it. Um, because I'd be in the bathroom crying because it was all I thought about. It was just in the forefront of my mind. And I know my you know, my skin looks the best it's ever looked. Um, so I know it's kind of hard for you to understand what I'm saying, but I have archives of my darkest times where my skin was so inflamed and red and bumpy. And um, I finally let it go and I just stopped stripping away my skin and hating on my skin because this is what I was doing. Just, I would put on masks and glycolics and acids and I just was so mean to my skin because I was so angry about my situation that I was like taking it out of my skin and I just I adopted a very simple skincare routine um, using some oil cleansing and Spanish and I just my skin slowly like just started to look better it wasn't so inflamed and I just, just cutting out all the crap and just letting my body rest after the years of stress and depression and pain that it caused me and just letting myself, just getting out of the skin thing and getting back into life, um, simplifying things obviously and, and getting off that roller coaster of, of finding my cure for acne, my skin has gotten tremendously better. My mother, I wouldn't probably be here if it wasn't for my mom. Because I, along with the acne, came insomnia because I was like, I couldn't sleep because I was so stressed and so worried about facing the world the next day. My mom would like lay in bed with me and rock me to sleep and she'd pray for me and she went to every appointment and you know helped me fund some of these crazy doctors and products and things she I I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have someone and I feel bad for the people that do it alone and don't have any family support or you know and whatever they're dealing with it's just I don't know what I would have done without my mom I think the whole big piece for me that that really turned everything around was like you don't need to fix yourself like you don't need to fix yourself letting go of the perfection piece and just letting yourself be and I hate to sound so cliche and like just be yourself you know what I mean like just being yourself where you're at, show up with your fucking chin held high as day, 
and just be yourself. Bring your light into the world. Stop thinking about yourself and just seeing what you can put out into the world. The mindset, I think, is going to be ideal in getting yourself back after struggling. And I think, especially in skincare, how there's a 12 step skincare routine with 12 peels, seven acids, you know, eight serums, eye cream, you know, like mask, like it's like, like, you know, you go into Sephora and there's like, if you want to look like JLo, you need to buy this. Like, it's like, oh my God. I'm like, what? Who, has, who has the money and time to do all of that? Like, I think the simplicity and just letting yourself be using good quality skincare and just showing up no matter what. I know that sounds so simple. I mean, obviously take care of yourself and eat well and do all that other stuff, but I think the bottom line is just letting yourself be. Because I was just, I, I would, I just would wake up with a pit in my stomach every day about my skin. And it was just always on the forefront. And I just letting that go changed everything. So I'm a big research person and I love reviews. I will review the crap out of something before I buy it. And I love brands that have, which is why I love Banish. Real before and after pictures, like, of real people. I, like, that, if I see a product, and I, well, most of them, and there's, like, real real pictures, right? And real stories and testimonial, testimonial, I love it. It's just inspiring. It's so helpful to people, you know, struggling and looking to find the thing that will work for them. I love, love love that you guys do that love it so the first product i think i got was the vitamin c moisturizing cream when i totally threw away my arsenal of crap that i bought and um i just it was the only moisturizer that like just absorbed i tried so much <laughs> it's disgusting <laughs> And it just, I just needed to bring balance to my skin and it just, it absorbs well. It looks great underneath my makeup. Like it's just my staple. I've, I've straight away, I've tried other moisturizers cause I'm just a lunatic and a junkie and whatever. But I've always, always gone back to the moisturizer. And after I got the breakout calmed down, that's when the, the stamper came in, you know, to help with scars. And um, it's just what I love about it is the science. Like, how it, it's so cool. Like, how these golden prongs will create little pockets for your product to work better and stimulate cell turnover is so cool. I think this, our generation is really like, I think we like the science and the research behind things. And learning about that and just like how you guys have included that in, in the products, you know, with, you know, natural things as well as, you know, the roller to help with scarring is so cool to me. So I love that.